Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Hidden Wealth TV, the show that's dedicated to helping you discover and uncover your hidden wealth. I'm your host, Kristen Oakley, and I am joined by Chuck Oliver. He is the founder and wealth strategist at Hidden Wealth Solution. Chuck, it's great to be back in the studio with you. What is going on in your world this week? <laughs> it's great to be back with you, Kristen. Lots well, going on. Lots going on for sure. And we had a lovely dinner. I got to actually meet Chuck's wife, Leanna, last night. And I know that this is a family affair. Oh, yeah. So tell me a little bit, tell our viewers a little bit about the business and who all's working with you from your family. You know, we're fortunate actually, um, my wife and I, and then our oldest son just joined our practice two years ago. He graduated mm -hmm. from UNC Chapel Hill in economics and he's, uh, he's been a delight to have uh, join us. Awesome. And um, actually, our, our whole team is really like a, a family. Mm -hmm. Almost everybody's been with us for 12, 15, 16, 18 years. So That's amazing. Well, I loved getting to hear more about it from her perspective as well. And I love what you're doing for folks. And you're really changing people's lives. I mean, it's very powerful. We're having a lot of fun doing that. That's awesome. I know yeah. we're going to talk about some of those life-changing strategies today. But we want to start off today's show with an important question for you. Is the plan that got you where you are today going to be the same plan that's going to help you get to where you want to go. That's what we are going to be talking about today, Chuck. And I know you're excited to really help educate, especially the baby boomer generation and retirees, because a lot of people overlook the new retirement realities. This yeah. is not your parents' you know, retirement anymore. It's not your grandparents' retirement. So many of the rules have changed. So I'm excited to, to do the show with you today. I'm excited too. Excited. Wonderful. Probably the first thing we, we would say that the, the new realities, um, just knowing whose audience you really are. Mm. And, you know, we've talked at length about kind of the big box store, you know, brokerages. They, they don't do retirement planning. Right. Uh, it's, a, it's all focused on accumulation. There's not this mm -hmm. transition into the distribution phase. Mm -hmm. And when you don't really know whose audience you are, you're just assuming you do what everybody else does. Right. And then, unfortunately, you get what everybody else gets. And that's why we have a retirement crisis. Mm -hmm. So I think the distinction, number one, is just knowing whose audience you really, really are. For sure. And we've talked on previous shows that another problem with the big box firm model is that they aren't even allowed to engage in strategic tax planning with their clients. But that's what you specialize that's in doing. That's a big part. Yeah. When we realized that the, the single greatest thing that was costing people the most, that was the thing that was getting the least amount of attention being mm -hmm. taxes, mm -hmm. we actually just brought taxes into our practice. Mm -hmm. And so that way we've got an entire tax team. And our philosophy is if we don't get the taxes right, everything else is going to be inferior. Yeah, for sure. Well, clearly, as a nation, as a country, we have a problem right now because a lot of people are using 20th century solutions to try to fix and address 21st century problems. And, it, and it's not working. Yeah. So talk a little bit about some of these key differences that folks are navigating today with retirement. Well, I think first is understanding that traditional retirement planning is over. Mm -hmm. uh, you, gone is the day that you count on the government and you could count on your employer, right, mm -hmm. to give you a paycheck every time you walk out to the mailbox uh, monthly. And, and now, right, we have to have, as I joke, and I've written about my books, the, the yo-yo plan, right, which stands for you're on your own. Yes. And many people, uh, in particular today, are feeling very confused, um, mm -hmm. feel isolated, feel powerless. Mm -hmm. And so they're really looking for direction. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. understanding the distinction between kind of the new realities of retirement is that the old stuff doesn't work, just mm -hmm. as you said. You can't use 20th century for 21st century. Right. And I think the quicker people are picking up on that, and a lot of people have brought that to our attention, is that, you know, Chuck, it, it's interesting, you're right, when you kind of go through this dynamic of transitioning from, you know, this whole idea of save, 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 and then you got to start figuring out how, to, how am I going to distribute this? Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden it says, well, wow, but we got this tax thing, and we mm -hmm. got to plan this whole Social Security thing. Yes. And Social Security is, un, un, the unknowns of the future of Social Security are obviously a threat. So right. there's, a, there's a lot of things that people are now having to rethink. For sure. Yeah. Well, I know one of the things you want to talk about is avoiding the greatest government tax trick. So yeah. what do you mean by that? Yeah, I, I kind of always pose the question, you know, do you really think by socking away money in arguably the lowest tax environment anybody in pretty much in the boomer and the silent generation have experienced and expecting you're going to pay a lesser tax when you go to take the money out, mm -hmm. um, how's, that, how's that working out? It, it's not, mm -hmm. and, and people need to realize that. So the greatest retirement trick is this idea that we're going to save tax by deferring it, and then we're going to take it out, and we're going to supposedly pay less tax when we take it out. 
And that's what most people have been led to believe. Yeah. When, when 401ks were invented, that's what we were told. It's a really good thing. You put the money away now, you don't have to pay the tax, you'll get a tax deduction today, and then in retirement, you're going to be in a lower tax bracket. Well, and back then, right, the, the, during the creation of the 401k, the, the top tax rate was 70%. Right. So you would surely hope, right, yes. that you're going to be able to get it out at less than that. But right now, that's the unknown. Right, yeah. And it, speaking to that, it really does point the tax brackets, the taxes are on sale today. You know, I think a lot of people forget that that was not that long ago that tax rates were as high as 70%. Uh, no, yeah. And it's, it's fascinating because people really, there's another whole level of taxes, right, on top mm -hmm. of just the income taxes. And many people are surprised by that. Like, wow, I've got to pay tax on my Social Security. So mm -hmm. if one tax creates another tax, it creates another tax. Right. Well, I know you always talk about that there's two views of taxes. So yeah. I'd love for you to share that with our viewers. But yeah, so there's kind of the micro level and the macro level, right? Macro, micro is, hey, save taxes today mm -hmm. versus the macro, what about the tax you want to save over your lifetime? Mm -hmm. And so many people get fixated on, hey, I'm just, you know, I'm just going to look at what's going on today and mm -hmm. forget about planning taxes tomorrow. And then that catches up to them. Right. And unfortunately, they're not, they're not prepared. Yeah. Well, and, and you, you know, I think that this speaks to when we put a dollar amount on it, it kind of really brings it to life. Yeah. And you have a fabulous illustration that I'm so excited for our viewers to hear. So let's really set this up, first of all. Okay. What, is the, what is the power behind this illustration you're about to share? It, it's, it's realizing that what appears isn't always reality, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, let's take somebody that's consistently saved, you know, let's call it $7,500 a year. Mm -hmm. And let's just say a third of that's going to go to taxes, so that's $2,500. Or they're thinking, well, by saving that $7,500, I'm saving $2,500 because I'm putting it away pre-tax, as mm -hmm. they call it, right? Mm -hmm. And let's say they do that for, you know, 30 years. Right. Well, they've now deferred $75,000 of tax. Right. But they've also deferred the tax calculation. Mm -hmm. And so when you look at that, let's say now, based on 7% growth rate, now they're going to distribute that $75,000, mm -hmm. right? to now live on that $75,000. Right. Well, that $75,000 has a third or 25,000 of that going to the silent partner, Uncle Sam, mm -hmm. and they're forgetting that. Mm -hmm. And if you take that, sadly, that $25,000 difference, right. right, that you gotta give up, and take that over just 15 years, not 30, that's $375,000. But if you take it over 30, mm -hmm. it's 750,000. It's 10 times wow. the 75 you deferred, you paid back 10 times just in that same 30 year period. All right, say that again. <laughs> <laughs> so the 75 you deferred, yes. you paid back 10 times more over the 30 years that you took it out. Yes. And that's not on the 401k enrollment form. And that's what we really want you to understand because the problem is that we're living longer than we ever have before. It's very plausible that someone could live another 30 years and owe that $750,000 in that example. Yeah, it's unfortunate. We see it, we see it quite a bit. Right. Yeah. Right. So listen, if, if you're at home and you're saying, goodness gracious, uh, paying 10 times more <laughs> than the tax I deferred, and you realize that, hey, you know what, maybe what I'm doing isn't really going to be the best plan to take me where I want to go, uh, we'd love to work with you. We'd love to talk with you, have a conversation, learn what you can learn, right? Teach you what you can learn about how to have a personal wealth blueprint where these things can be identified. Wonderful. Chuck, thank you so much. To our viewers at home, we are going to take a quick commercial break, but this is your invitation to pick up the phone and call for no cost, no charge, no obligation. You can actually meet with Chuck and the team at Hidden Wealth Solution to get your own complimentary personal wealth blueprint where you can dive into everything that we are talking about on today's show and what it means for you and your individual situation. All you have to do is call that number on the bottom of your screen, 844-837-3652. You're also welcome to take out your smartphone and you can simply scan that QR QR code in the bottom right hand corner of your screen that will take you over to a landing page ask you a few short simple questions and then a member of the team from Hidden Wealth Solution will reach out to you to connect to set up your complimentary appointment that way as well. We have a lot more to cover on today's show about the most overlooked retirement situations and how you can be prepared for them so stay with us we'll be back right after this. As a good saver you've been putting away money during your working years. Studies find that the biggest fear of retirees is running out of money. Market volatility isn't just the downward movement of stock prices, it's the size and frequency of change. The more dramatic the ups and downs, the higher the volatility. This can put savers who are newly retired or a few years away from being retired at greater risk. Today's generation of retirees is not receiving traditional pensions as our parents or grandparents did. Instead, we have retirement accounts such as 401ks or 403bs. 
These accounts typically expose your money to market risk. The last thing you want right before retirement is to lose a portion of the money you need for income. But how do you turn these accounts into a retirement income? Is it safe to keep all your retirement money sitting in the stock market? The last thing you want is to lose a portion of the money you need for income due to market loss. By working with a financial professional, you can learn how to turn a portion of your savings into an income stream for life and income for the life of your spouse if you're married. We all have moments in our lives when we wish we had taken action sooner. Don't let procrastination rain on your retirement parade. Act now before it's too late. Please call our office to set up your no-cost, no-obligation retirement income review today. Welcome back to Hidden Wealth TV. I'm your host, Kristen Oakley, and I'm here with Chuck Oliver. He is the founder and wealth strategist at, Hel at Hidden Wealth Solution. That can be a mouthful sometimes, right, Chuck? That's right. That's right. <laughs> but we are having a great show today. We're talking about the most overlooked retirement realities that you need to be aware of. And I know specifically we're talking a lot today about taxes. That is something that you specialize in doing. So let's talk now about how do we go about tackling retirement taxes today? Yeah. How do we help lower our tax burden in the future? Get started right away, right? Learn to mm -hmm. untax the, what has not yet been taxed. Mm -hmm. You know, realizing that deferred taxes equal increased taxes. Mm -hmm. You know, many people go a lifetime thinking, gosh, I'm really saving. And all they're really is doing is deferring. Mm -hmm. And they're deferring the tax calculation. So I think Strategically, and, and we've talked about this on other programs, you know, how do you untax what hasn't been taxed? Mm -hmm. Getting it to that tax me never type of, of structure. Right. And so one of the areas that we look at there that it tends to be a real key, you know, retirement, overlooked retirement reality is people still continue to do it the old fashioned way, like we talked about the example, right? Mm -hmm. They're deferring mm -hmm. ten times to pay ten times more tax than the tax that they deferred. Mm -hmm. So I think really tackling the untaxing of what's not been taxed yet, a lot of people now are starting to really come around and say, you know what, I really need to take a hard look at this. And so we're doing more and more of that with strategies that have you know, proven track record to be able to do that and, and do that in a way to kind of strategically Roth convert mm -hmm. and use deductions within our code that our tax team supports that will allow you to offset that conversion tax. That's one of the big ones. For sure, and I know we've said this on other episodes too, it's not about tax evasion. We're not talking right. about doing anything illegal. We are talking about eliminating and mitigating your tax liability. So I want you to dive in a little more deeply into these strategies that you're able to employ for folks. Sure, so one of the, the, the one we've talked about, right, a lot of people, RMDs catch up to them, right? Yes. Required minimum distributions, which I joke in my books and call retirement mass destruction. Yes. And, and they don't realize the impact until they realize the impact. Mm -hmm. And I know we've talked before, some people actually, until it really gets to them, they don't even, they don't really even connect with the whole idea of retirement, you know, these mm -hmm. required minimum distributions. Right. Especially then when they end up passing them on and some of our clients have now inherited IRAs and now they realize the, the, the realization that, well, gosh, I got this inherited RMD. Mm -hmm. And so by using deductions inside of our tax code, some have, have been around uh, since the inception of the tax code, especially in the energy sector, mm -hmm. we have relationships where that can be a strategy with our tax team that can use that deduction dollar for dollar. In fact, I think of a, a, a client in particular uh, this is some, some of you at home thinking, gosh, how, how do you actually get IRA to Roth IRA and not get clobbered on taxes? Because a lot of people, I think when they get to that, that point of thinking, gosh, it sounds good, but how much is it going to cost me? Well, if it was able to offset the tax, and strategically you can do that, I, I think of clients of ours, John and Kate, and they literally have removed all of their IRA now converted to Roth IRA, and they, they're doing it and actually with zero tax out of their own pocket. Wow. And they didn't even believe that that was possible. In fact, until their CPA talked to our tax team, their CPA wasn't aware of it either. Mm. And I know this is what you have done so much of is educating other CPAs out there yeah. to help people understand what is available to them and that these strategies exist. Yeah, we do a lot of that. And we also teach not just untaxing what's not been taxed, but where do you put money now so you yes. don't end up getting whacked by taxes? Right. And there's a lot of strategies there that by teaching it to you know CPAs, tax attorneys, and, and tax professionals, they're like, I, I didn't even know this existed. You know, it's not mm -hmm. earned passive or portfolio income, so there's not a place to report it on the tax return. So for a lot of people, they're not even aware of it. Right. Well, I think so many people are just taught that it is what it is, right? Oh, gosh, we have to pay taxes, right? Oh, boy, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But your point is, 
we need to be educated yeah. and it's not about following the crowd it's about educating yourself to the extent that you want to be educated and I know this is your heartbeat and your passion of what you do for folks is really helping people see look you have all this hidden wealth you didn't even know was existent and a lot of it it's because you're able to help people save on their taxes and it's because they've done things just the old follow the crowd way right, right. let's just do what yeah. everybody else has done and expect a different result mm -hmm. and they're getting a worse result as, mm -hmm. a, as a, a matter of just the fact that the, the whole world has changed yes and yeah. things aren't working the way that they used no, to. they're not. <laughs> Change drastically. Yes, for sure. <laughs> well, I know, um, you know, you've, you've talked about the book, The New Rules of Retirement Savings. So what do you want to share with folks about that? I, I think risk is very different today for a lot of people, especially mm -hmm. that have lived through, you know, losing almost 50% twice during the, the, you know, the lost decade of 2001 and two and 2008 and nine. Right. And then of course, seeing crazy stuff happen at the end of 18 and COVID and seeing all this kind of roller coaster of the ups and downs and all around. So I think if, if you're not addressing um, risk, right? Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. more so today now are saying, you know, I need to address risk, not just in the area of the market all over the place, but I need to address tax risk, mm -hmm. market risk. And those are two things that you can actually can control mm -hmm. with the right engineering and the understanding that it's, it's not the old school way of doing things. There's mm -hmm. other proven strategies with a track record of very measurable results that can be incorporated to complement the overall plan as opposed to thinking, gosh, this seems so different. How, how could this possibly work for me? Well, it's got track record. It's got traction now. Right, yeah. right. Improving results. Yeah. I'm sure when folks meet with you, are their minds just blown? Like when they actually come in for their, you know, their, I know you meet with a lot of people over Zoom, which is awesome that you're able to do that remotely. And so you're having these personal wealth blueprint, you know, meetings. Are people just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like a light You know, we've been, we've been very fortunate. You know, a lot of people said, wow, th these are things that no one's ever really talked to us about yeah. before, kind of put those things in perspective. And actually, the number one, Kristen, is our person just never talks to us about taxes. Mm. They don't. Mm -hmm. When we bring the subject up, we hear that, well, you know, the only things that are guaranteed are death and taxes. Mm -hmm. And they said, you know, that's not going to work for us. And then the other thing that they've heard is, well, taxes are just part of the equation. You know, mm -hmm. you at home listening, it, it, taxes can be part of the equation or you can remove them from the equation, but mm -hmm. no one's going to do it for you, right? So you're going to have to actually take the initiative mm -hmm. to do that. So it's not following the crowd and realizing that there are a lot of different ways to approach this. Mm -hmm. Well, what would you encourage people if they're listening going, shoot, I, I want to know how to do this. I want your help. What would you tell them Sure, to do? and it's very personalized. So we look mm -hmm. at what they define as risk, right? Mm -hmm. And then let them choose from the different risk areas that they can actually pick from. But I think the first thing is recognizing the risk they're exposed to, especially where we've talked about, mm -hmm. you know, the tax risk growth that people are traveling. Many people don't know that exposure mm -hmm. until somebody points it out to them. Sure. Then it becomes a reality for them. Same thing when you look at the, the whole idea of the, the craziness of the market. Mm -hmm. You know, there are strategies that capture the entire upside without any limit and completely protect you to the downside. But to most people, that's very foreign or it just sounds too good to be true because the big mm -hmm. box store brokerage brokerages, they don't have access to those things. So they're going to obviously make people gun shy to say, well, you know, you just want to ride it out. Everything is going to be OK, but mm -hmm. it's your retirement. It's not theirs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so for anyone watching, if they want to get connected with you to start this road of managing your own tax risk, what do they need to do? Look, it, it's very simple. Uh, we help people build out what we call a personal wealth blueprint. It's very customized, and individualized to each individual individual or couple. And we basically identify the key three, tax elimination, income maximization, and lifestyle legacy preservation. And if those things aren't being discussed or looked at, as we say, if you forget about the taxes, everything else is going to be inferior. So by addressing each area, we start with the tax and work our way through. Wonderful. Chuck, thank you so much. To our viewers at home, we are going to take a quick commercial break, but we encourage you to call that number on the bottom of your screen, 844-837-3652, to get your complimentary personal wealth blueprint from Chuck and the team at Hidden Wealth Solution. You can also scan that QR code, and that will get you connected as well. When we come back, I'm going to ask Chuck about the importance of understanding the difference between indexing and investing. Do you know what that difference is? Stay with us. When was the last time you saw your financial professional? Are you getting the most out of the strategy that was created for you? Although you've done a great job finding someone to help plan for your future, are you 100% sure that you were given the right strategy? We can help answer these questions and more with a complimentary second opinion evaluation. We will take a look at what you have in place and then help determine if you're well positioned to get the most out of your future retirement income. In the event that it is not, we can help by making suggestions and showing you how to get on the right path. You wouldn't get just one opinion when it comes to a major health decision. 
So why would you treat your most important financial decision with such disregard? Call today for your no cost, no obligation, second opinion evaluation to see if you're getting the most out of your retirement income plan. Welcome back to Hidden Wealth TV. I'm Kristen Oakley here with Chuck Oliver. He is the founder and wealth strategist at Hidden Wealth Solution. We are talking today about some of the most overlooked retirement realities and what you need to know about them so that you can be prepared. And Chuck, before the break, I asked you, I'm excited for you to unpack this understanding the importance between indexing and investing. Yes. So would you mind highlighting that for our viewers? would love to. Uh, this was a, a really um, harsh reality for me is, is understanding this whole idea of indexing, right? Mm -hmm. This is where you can link to some of the very common, even in your own brokerage account, ETFs that are just engineered differently at, at, on different time periods where you can actually link to the unlimited growth of those same ETFs, but not the downside exposure. Mm -hmm. And when you look at kind of the contrast of that, what it's doing is it's taking all the wobble right out of the daily ups and downs and all arounds for kind of the mm -hmm. safe money that we mm -hmm. help people with this kind of new retirement reality that is of the utmost importance. Right. And then we, we help them understand that investing, you want to kind of look beyond the retail side, the big, mm -hmm. you know, as we call it, kind of the big box you know, brokerages mm -hmm. and look at institutional money management. Mm -hmm. So you can have a targeted risk. Mm -hmm. So between having targeted risk and then having indexed risk, which is completely eliminated, now we're able to basically come back in and show somebody how can we get the potential of more upside opportunity with higher return, mm -hmm. but limiting or reducing the downside risk and having the two complement. So to give you an example, as we go through these kind of market gyrations, we ran a back study for one of our engineer clients and we found that in the negative years, if you're pulling from something that can't go down or mm -hmm. give back any prior gains versus in the positive years, you're taking some chips off the table, the money over a 30 year period went two and a half times further wow. without any tax strategies. Just the idea of being kind of knowing which account, which amount and which economy made the most mm -hmm. sense to pull from. Wow. Which account, which amount, which economy. <laughs> There's so much to take into consideration, right? Yeah, there is. There yeah. is. And, and unfortunately, a lot of people have kind of the one trick pony where it's, mm -hmm. well, you know, maybe this year I don't take out as much. Uh, this year I'll take out more and they're kind of constantly just having heartburn of watching the market. They're with their family. Mm -hmm. Someone's jumping on the cell phone. Where am I at? This basically counterbalances that so people just have peace of mind. For sure. Well, I know one of the things you say that I'm excited to have you explain is you encourage people to be a memory heir, mm -hmm. not a millionaire. Talk about that. Yeah. So with this indexing strategy, we met a really interesting couple probably a decade and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And I always give uh, Rita credit. So I give credit where credit's due. And as we sat with her and her and her husband, Tim, learned the strategy of indexing versus investing, they just come off of some pretty tumultuous experiences. In fact, they, they used the example that they talked about that they had been with someone that was their retirement planner, and then they worked with somebody else, and now they're back to working with that retirement planner who they actually sit beside in church. Mm -hmm. And they said, they're not doing this, so we're going to have to kind of break up with them mm -hmm. twice. Mm -hmm. And we want to just come in and, 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 and meet with you and really share with you what's really important to us. Right. And so as we did, we learned that Rita has a zest for life. Mm -hmm. And she said, you know, Chuck, I now, which now at the time they had 18 grandchildren. Now they have 21 grandchildren. Whoa. She said, you know what, Chuck, understand, I, I've had a hard life. And mm -hmm. I want something where, with all these fancy calculations where you can take each of my grandchildren's dates of birth, and you can figure out with all your fancy inflation calculators what a one-on-one -on -one grandma graduating grandchild cruise is going to look like. Oh, how cool. And she goes, and this whole indexing strategy is going to help us do that with more safety and security. Right. And so as we did that, she said, because Chuck, I want you to remember one thing, and I'll share this with the audience. I want to be known to my grandchildren as a memory heir, not a millionaire, mm -hmm. or not just a millionaire. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was very powerful. Mm -hmm. And these types of strategies, learning, you know, people coming outside of their comfort zone, learning new strategies, right? Maybe right. you at home, you're just not feeling great about what you're doing, right? And you're thinking, hey, there may be other things that we should be looking at, because I get those comments all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm so glad we took the time yeah. to investigate, yes. right? Yeah. Be sure that, that people do that, right? Take the time to inspect what you expect, because a lot of people don't take sure. the time to do that. Absolutely. Well, and the value that you're able to provide in that second opinion, you know, we always say that you can't get a second opinion from the same person who gave you the first. And just having a second set of eyes who can look independently and objectively on someone's situation and maybe help reveal some things that they're not even aware of. Oh, it's from a, the CFPs to the CPAs to the tax team. When you can put a whole holistic mm -hmm. plan together, people really have their eyes open. 
For sure. Well, speaking of second opinions and not knowing that there's some uh, different ways of doing things out there, I know you shared with me on the break a story about the Chicago airport, yeah. and I think this is an awesome analogy, so I'd love for you I to share I think it is, too. I, I've, remember, I've remembered this for years. A friend of mine, uh, for the first time, was flying to O'Hare Airport in Chicago, and anybody that's flown into Chicago uh, Airport in January knows that the weather can be pretty oh, yes. questionable, to, to say the least. <laughs> And it's Been there, done that. Yeah, yeah, especially as much as I, I know we've flown. Mm -hmm. and, and it's interesting because he said, you know, as I got down to bag, baggage claim, uh, I wanted to catch the shuttle over at the Hyatt Hotel, and I wanted to make sure that, you know, I kind of got there so I didn't miss the first shuttle pickup. Right. And so he said, I asked the information desk, you know, how do I get over to the, to the shuttle pickup? And they said, oh, just, just follow the crowd. And so all of a sudden he gets over there. Obviously he's going outside, the wind's blowing. It's mm -hmm. obviously January in Chicago. And he gets up to the, the shuttle service and he notices a gentleman that he had noticed from the plane. Oh. And he looks at him and he's eating a hot dog <laughs> and he's going, and his hair's not windblown. And he said, how did you get here like that? Right. And he said, well, didn't you know? And he said, didn't I know what? He goes, when you come down to baggage claim, it's not marked real well. But the lines, in fact, need to be repainted. But if you go one level down, you go under everything, and you come back up, and you never have to go outside. So wow. this is the message to the viewer at home. Stop following the crowd. It's a new retirement reality. And, and, and new realities, right, cause for new decisions, right? Things have changed. And this mm -hmm. is kind of the whole idea. Don't follow the crowd. Well, interesting that the expert at the airport in that example was saying, just follow the crowd, yeah, right? Exactly. And, and that's Take what we find way. in this industry. A lot of experts are saying, just do what's always been done. But we know that that's not going to get people where they need to be. Not at all. Hmm. Not at all. Yeah. It was fascinating, too, because uh, I've told that story to so many people. And I think that the whole idea, just don't follow the crowd. It's very mm -hmm. easy to do. Mm -hmm. As many of you at home know, it's very easy to just kind of, kind of stay in your safety zone. And if you've kind of got that gut feeling like, you know what, I think I should probably be getting a second opinion or I should be maybe at least having somebody get another set of eyes on this, and you're just not comfortable or you want to be comfortable, I, I think that's where most of the clients mm -hmm. have kind of gotten off the fence saying, you know what, it's probably time I need to do this. Some people have said they've taken four years wow. to finally pick up the phone and learn right. new realities. Right. But the good news is they can start today. It's yeah. never too early. It's also never too late. But the sooner you start, the better off it's going to be, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. I like to say that, too. It's never too early. It's never too late to get a head start For to sure. be tax and retirement smart. Absolutely. Well, gosh, I know we only have a minute left. The show goes by so quickly. But right. anything else you want to leave our viewers with today? Um, you know, I, I think uh, first and foremost is... Um, you know, just taking the time to get educated. I think, you know, a lot of people end up getting intimidated. And we've heard a, a lot of feedback from clients saying, you know what, I, mm -hmm. I regret not taking action. And Sooner, I think, yeah, yeah defining, mm -hmm. defining your risk, choosing your risk, and taking action, that's, that's where people need to take the initiative. For sure. Well, I've heard that the number one cause of financial failure is procrastination, and we don't want that to be you. So, Chuck, what is your encouragement to them today? You know what, uh, pick up the phone. Uh, you know, the, the whole opportunity to get a personal wealth blueprint so you can really see where you are, get a better understanding of where you're going, but what you're exposed to so that you don't have to go through these tumultuous markets, uh, tax, right, paying 10 times the tax that you deferred, learning the road that you're on so you can see what better routes you can take. Wonderful. Chuck, thank you so much to our viewers at home. Thanks for watching. That number to call is on the bottom of your screen. We hope you've enjoyed this week's episode, and we look forward to being back with you next time. Take care.